Welcome to Creativity TV. On today's show, Ducraft designer Sheila Halliwell has created a fabulous project. I'm really excited about this one. It's a gift and a project in one. Roll VT. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this trifold card, which cleverly incorporates a little notebook and pencil, giving a surprise element for your recipient. To create this project, I'm going to be using the stepper card kit from the Tulip range. To begin with, you'll need to take one of the stepper cards from the pack. As you can see, if I lay it flat, I've cut off this section here and I've put it to one side to use later in the project. The first thing we're going to do is decorate the small panel at the front and we're going to layer up some green card and some blue card and then some white card on top of that. So first of all, we'll attach the blue piece onto the green piece and this is textured card from the capsule collection. And then we're going to take a piece of white card and this has been cut down. This is from the piece of card that we removed earlier and we're just going to edge it with a little bit of green colour box chalk and that can then be attached to this front panel here. The next step is to take a little piece of the paper that comes in the stepper pack, cut a very small rectangular strip and I've edged it with black chalk. This is going to sit around the edge of the card here. Before I actually put it into place, I'm going to pierce a hole in one end and going to add a brad to that. And then that is going to be attached to our card there. So once you've trimmed off the excess, you need to take a Paper Mania fine tip brush marker and using the fine tipped end, we're going to draw some stitches all around the white panel. So once you've gone all around the edge, then we're going to use one of the die cut toppers from the stepper card kit and then highlight the edges gently with some black chalk. You can then attach this into position onto the front of the project. Do remember at this stage you only need to add tape to one half of the circle and then press it firmly into place. Then you can use some of the die cut parcels from the stepper card kit. If you want additional parcels there are some printed on the sheets and you can just simply cut those out with scissors. I'm going to put these onto the foam pads just to create some dimension and we want to place them in such a way that they look like they're falling out of the basket. So if you open out your card, so again using card from the Capsule Collection textured cardstock pack, we're going to build the background up using rectangles of card. So firstly we need to place the blue one which represents the sky and then I've cut a wider piece which is going to slightly overlap the sky. First of all though we need to actually trim this to look like a hill and I'm just going to cut some curves and then we're just going to add a little bit of chalk. You can tape that into position as well. We're going to take the tape runner and this is going to sit at the bottom of the card and there you can see we have our hills. Then I've taken a lighter shade of green and I'm going to do the similar thing. So again I'm going to cut away the edge and this will sit below the darker green card. Again if you add a little bit of chalk to the edges, it brings the hills to life. And press that firmly in place and there we have our hills and the sky. So we're going to draw a fence now and I'm just going to draw some little stakes and these don't have to be straight because we're trying to create a fence that's rolling along the hills. Draw a line to join them up and then we have our fence. And we're also going to add at this point some birds in the sky. And we're also going to add one of the die cut balloons, also from the stepper card kit. And we're going to place this into the sky. And if you close the card up, it will give you an idea as to where you want to place it. And then from that, with the fine tipped marker, I'm just going to draw a curly string. What we need to do now to complete this section is to add some parcels. And these are just going to stick onto the grass and again to do this it might help if you close your card up so that you can see where the presents are falling. Once you've put your presents on then again take your pen and we're going to do the stitch lines all the way around the scene. 
Once you've finished the stitching, then you need to place the happy birthday panel onto the card. Again, this is one of the die cut toppers from the Sepa card kit. Simply push it out, place it onto foam pads, and then we're going to put that in position on the left of the grass. Press it down firmly. And that is your panel completed. So now open your card up again and then we're going to decorate the inside panel. So I've cut a piece of paper again from the stepper card kit down to size and I'm going to put that into place. Before I do that I'm just going to edge it with a little bit of the green chalk and then we will put that in place using the glue runner. So what we need to do now is I've taken a little notebook and I've covered the front in the tulip paper and what we're going to do is put one of these toppers across the centre here. You take the chalk and again highlight the edges and then we're going to place that onto the front of the notebook, press it down and then tuck these two corners under the cover and then we're going to glue those in position. So a little blob of glue, tuck that underneath and then again with your fine tipped pen we're just going to do a little bit of stitching. Now we want to attach a pencil as well to the side so the best thing to do is to take a strip of matching paper and fold it into three. Open it up again and apply some of the glue runner and then if you place it around your finger to form a nice curve which you can fit your pencil into squeeze it together and then we're going to apply some glue in here as well leaving the pencil in there while you do it so that gives you a nice firm pencil grip so we can trim off some of that section take your pencil out while you glue this in place what we're going to do is open the little booklet up and we're going to glue that onto there and I'm going to use the tacky glue again and I am going to try and line it up with the little greetings topper there and then we need to fix this into the centre of the panel here and again I'm going to use some of the tacky glue and it might help if you lift up the pages and just press the actual cover down and then to finish off we're going to add one of the gems to the pencil push that inside take our pen just to do our last bit of stitching, we just had the last few lines of stitching. You can close your project up, and there's the finished result. Well, you were right, Emma. I really do love that idea. I think it would make a really good gift for someone who's super organised, just like somebody I know. <laughs> I love this. I think it's going to be wonderful to get my kids to turn the notebook into a colouring book for children's birthday parties. Oh, that's a great idea. Creativity Club member Emma Goddard has sent us in a wonderful card using the tulip range and combined it with X-Cut punches. And she's also used my favourite colour, pink. Fantastic. She sent us another project as well, which is using the Woodland Folk collection. I really love how she's embossed her background and combined the Woodland Folk with papers from the Papermania capsule collection. Of course, you can find details of all the projects you've seen on today's show online in the Creativity Club section at docrafts.com. And don't forget, we love to see what you've made. So make sure you send us in your projects and even some pictures or some videos of your craft rooms and send them to tv at docrafts.com. So until next time... Uh, wait, before you go, I think you need this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Happy crafting. <laughs>